I want to start looking at taking a little bit of a break. Today is the middle of May, and this is gonna mark almost nine months of continually doing three videos a week every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I'm starting to get to the point where offers are coming in, both college and pro-wise, and I wanna start focusing in on my game. I wanna start looking at taking a little bit of a break kind of over the summer again, focusing on my game, working on my training, my on-ice, all that kind of stuff. The whole goal of doing these three videos a week was to enable myself to have full-time income to continue training, continue working out with this guy. I don't know where he is, he's over there somewhere. And continue skating. But now that I've accomplished that goal, the goal now is to, to make the most of that opportunity that I've generated. That's, that's one thing I want to talk about in the video. Hey, what are we working on today? Great start to the day. I'll show you the highlights in that workout later on in the video. If you don't, if you're not into the whole workout, then you can skip it after. But I got a skate coming up in a bit. But I want to talk about this break for a second because I think it's imperative to be taking breaks from time to time. I think that as time has gone on over these past nine months of creating these videos, I've started to get a little bit burnt out as far as creative ideas go and as far as producing these actual vlogs. These university offers are coming in, these pro offers are coming in. Now my agent informed me specifically not to specify going into detail about the teams, about whether we have or have not signed. What I can say is rest assured I'll be playing somewhere next season and I want to be playing hockey next season. I want to be the best that I possibly can be. Not playing real games for two years sucks. I want to really dial in my game and I know my game is at its best when I'm not filming, when I don't have cameras around, when I don't have cameras like this around, when I'm not having go pros everywhere and Insta360s and all these other things. My game is at its best when I'm just focused on my game, believe it or not, which you'd think it'd be a little bit better when I had the cameras on, but it's not. Speaking of which, now I'm not gonna debut this in today's video, but mail time tomorrow, this is the DJI Osmo Action. I've tried out so many action cameras lately, the Insta361R, the Hero 8 Black, the Insta361X. I haven't tried the Osmo Action. I bought this out of my own cash the other day. I'm excited to debut it and use it. I'm gonna use it probably in the next video, not today, but it will be in the next video of mail time. So that is basically that. I wanna show you the skate coming up here. Today we're going to be working with Travis on keeping that body upright. Chest nice and big, legs nice and strong, which will then give us more mobility in our hands. Other people. Yeah. Today's skate was good. It gets even better though when this debuts in the next video. Yeah, but there's something about ice time. I think that you know, I've been taking advantage and taking granted for for the last couple of years. Just you know, there's so many problems in the world. You think a hundred years ago, people used to walk in the villages and slaughter each other, cut each other's throats off, and just absolutely murder each other. And the problems that we have today, yeah, it sucks not being able to be on real ice. But having synthetic ice, just being able to skate is honestly just an absolute treat. This one too. There's no sunshine girl. The girl of the week. In a bikini? That's what's under my bed. I, I mean, I mean. I'm, I'm getting a black coffee. You're not going to like that. I'll have a black coffee. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Oh. What? Put the fire out. Oof. Oh, the water? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 
filtered water cup, cup of Joe, venti red eye. Old man got the same thing, and he got a wrap. What do you think of the wrap? It's a spinach and feta and egg white wrap. Pretty good. That will conclude today's food reviews. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Nick Hoffman has the first question, and he says, when you meet a goalie coach like Steve, Steve McKeegan, at least former goalie coach, how do you guys go about getting shooters? So if you're new to the whole getting a goalie coach kind of game, goalie coach has shooters on demand, on speed dial. They call guys to shoot on you based on the talent level. So if you're a major junior goalie, they're gonna have equivalent major junior shooters for the most part. If you're like me, you usually have like a 10 year old shooting on you. Uh, or you have Steve firing muffins at your chest, but they take care of the shooters and they find good quality shooters for you based on what the goalie coach thinks. This next question is going to trigger a lot of people, myself included. Underscore Nick Riley says, Trav, how hard is it to be a goalie because I want to be one? It's a walrus! Ridiculous! Yes! Nice save, big guy! Good job, Duncan! Way to go! <laughs> Buddy, you have no idea. People think that goaltending is just being some fat dude in a sumo suit. That's not goaltending. You're skating on knives, first off, like hockey, but you're moving with, with such precision and intricacy that you have never seen or believed before. We're talking about micro adjustments. When you think about it, puck is, I don't know, like four inches wide, give or take, and you have a six foot by four foot net to deposit that puck into. It doesn't take a lot for the puck to fit into those holes. So you also have to read and react to the puck. Now we're not talking about, I'm just blindly looking at the puck and hoping that I get hit. There's visual cues the shooter will give off to kind of give you an idea of where the puck's going. Being a goaltender is hard, my friend, and it's harder than I think you would ever understand unless you've actually put the equipment on. If you agree with me, please leave a comment in the comment section. Let Nick know how difficult goaltending truly can be or how easy it is if you think uh, it's easy or if you're a troll in GGSU, one of the two. I'm going to trigger a lot of people here as well. Nick Nicoli wants to know, where is hockey the most competitive in Canada? I'm going to say BC without a doubt. I took sh for this last time I said it. Junior B in BC is better than Junior A in Manitoba and probably Saskatchewan. I haven't seen too much Junior A in Saskatchewan, but uh, I think BC is pumping out the most consistent, best hockey players in the country. Next to that would be the Toronto uh, GTA area. Who survived? Grand Theft Auto 4, rated M for mature. GTA uh, area, and then Alberta, Quebec, uh, Manitoba, and the uh, territories, wherever those are, and the uh, Maritimes are probably at the bottom of the list. This one, one stupid question of the day. I'm genuinely curious, have any coaches slash teams held a tryout through Zoom? Hashtag COVID-19. Could you imagine if you actually had to have like a Zoom meeting with like 20 guys? All right, Jerry, uh, break out the synthetic ice to see your dangles. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. To be honest, if that was a thing, I got a Zoom trout, I would literally, hold up my iPad right in front of the screen and show highlights of Connor Hellebuck or Carey Price or somebody like, this is me coach. Get cheating, and trying. That will conclude today's Q&A. Thank you for watching. There's uh, new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, if you didn't already know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then. Yeah. He's having trouble with his pants today. They're approximately to his knees. Hey, Starbucks has unreal free filtered water on the house anytime you come in. Hey buddy. I need like a behind the scenes TikTok for these bloopers. That and an OnlyFans account. If you want an OnlyFans account, I got a couple things I could definitely sell you. See you in the next video.